I chose McNally Smith because I want to pursue a career in music, and uh, it was actually uh, one of the best places that I looked at as far as fitting exactly the needs that I have as a musician. I chose McNally Smith because um, I love music, and <laughs> I want to do music for my life, and I love the city and the people. And yeah. I looked at a lot of recording schools and uh, music schools, and this one seemed to be the most well-rounded and one of the only recording schools that also had a music program because uh, that was more of what I wanted uh, was to be involved in music and recording. Most of the other recording schools were primarily recording than music. A, uh, the money, I <laughs> mean, it's closer to home for me, so it's easier to commute back and forth from Minneapolis to Sioux Falls, so it's convenient, and the area is really, really nice and home. Like. I chose McNally because I liked the I liked the professors. Um, I wanted to study with Gary Rayner really badly, um, and I read really good things about the the bass department in bass player. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about all the bass professors, and uh, I really wanted to be in the Minneapolis and St. Paul scene because it's a really healthy jazz and hip-hop and pop scene where you can actually make a living playing music. I chose McNally Smith because um, it was a, you know, I was interested in studying contemporary music performance for guitar, so I wanted to study stuff other than classical, you know, jazz, funk, rock, fusion, that sort of thing. I've always wanted to do something in the music industry, whether it be like performing or music business, and I was actually looking at a different school up here, but then my counselor gave me this, and I looked and checked it out, and I really liked the school, came and visited, and I kind of fell in love with it. Charles McNally Smith because uh, I really like the teachers here. A lot of them have stuff, a lot of stuff to tell you. Um, it's comforting. Everybody's, you know, it's small. Everybody's friends with everybody. Me because it's the best place to be and, uh, around the U.S. I think uh, I'm from Guatemala, Central America. So this is a big opportunity for me uh, to me to do what I really love to do, like music and and performance too. I mean, you're paying like umpteen thousands of dollars. So just grab everything and learn everything that you possibly can. Signal flow. You gotta know signal flow. There's gonna be some things that might be easy, and there's gonna be some things that are gonna be hard. I would recommend practicing because there's moments where you're very overwhelmed with everything. Don't limit yourself to genres of any type of music. Just do what you are. Practice a lot. <laughs> Mine, I would say. You know, you have to take a lot of classes that maybe you wouldn't want to originally take, but. You know, it helps you out and you learn a whole bunch of new stuff that you didn't know. I, think I would advise for incoming students is just <clears throat> try and be as open as possible about everything that's going on. Because, I mean, the school is a relatively small in, in terms of numbers and people come from all across the country. And so, you know, back in your hometown, you may have only known one or two people to play guitar, you know, but when you get here, everyone is all about the music industry. So there's a lot to learn from a lot of the people around you. So you just kind of have to open up and really listen to, you know, really kind of invest in what your instructors are saying, you know, your other classmates. Take advantage of the fact that everyone around you is doing the same thing that you are. And it really helps when you kind of put everything together. Um, jump right in. Don't be afraid to get involved with people and let everybody know how you feel about stuff, be honest. Being a new student as well, I guess um, the big thing that I am still working on is managing your time and uh, making sure that school always comes first. The social life is great, but you got to make sure uh, schoolwork is always, <laughs> always your first priority. <laughs> If you want to come to McNally, you have to be serious about it. It's not a fun, like, fun all the time school. There's a lot of work that goes into it, and you have to learn how to balance everything.